I'm gonna show you one of the coolest ways to do read throughs in Power BI. Let's get started. So I have this report here, it's a COVID report, and you can see on the Pacific countries how much COVID cases they have. If you want to know more details, you can of course go here and go to read through and then to the read through page, but not a lot of users know how to do that. So what I created is a link for each row that will take them there to that specific page. So cool. It's much easier to implement. You can see here the Cook Islands, and then if you go back, obviously we'll keep the folder so we need to get rid of it. And now they can pick, I don't know, another country. Isn't this easier? So I'm going to show you how it gets done. So here we are in Power BI service. By the way, if you want to know how to make this beautiful matrix, I do have a video on it. I will post the link down below. And um, this is how I had it before. So you click on something, it turns on the button, and then you can go there. But it's not very easy to discover. So what we're going to do is get rid of the button. And we're going to do like this instead. We're going to create a new measure. We create a new measure. We're going to call this. And this is going to contain the text that you want to show. So you, you could be like, learn more, more, uh, go to country details, whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to just write more. And then we're going to add that to uh, our Right, so now we have more. Now, how do we do the link? First, we're going to create the link itself. So we're going to create the new measure. We're going to call it drill through URL. You can call it anything that you like. So to create the URL, there is a very good uh, article on the Learn platform. Um, um, I'll post the link down below, of course, that shows you how to do it. So the first thing they say is that you have to go and get the page that you want to drill through in this case. So this is the page that we want to get drilled through. We're going to go and copy the link to that page. Open Notepad or anything that you use normally. I'm using Notepad. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to grab this folder store thing. We're going to do an equal, but know that you can do multiple values, you can do greater than, smaller than, it depends on what you need. Everything is in the documentation, really cool. So note that I didn't copy the uh, question mark because they have added experience power BI in there and you don't use a, you know, the question mark there, you, ha you have to use the ampersand. That's why I got it wrong so many times when I was testing. So. We are going to paste that part. Now, this is the table name and this is the column name. So I'm going to show you where to get that. So we have in here, we can see that is location and country. So in my URL, I have to put instead of store location and instead of territory, I need to put country. Make sure that you spell this correctly. If it doesn't work, it means that you've done something wrong. So it does work. Location and country. Now, if your table has spaces or your columns have spaces or you have column and numbers, the documentation says everything. So here you can see if it has table space name or you put these this part in between, if you have a column and a number, blah, blah, blah. So you have everything in here, beautiful. And now we need to do equal NC. And NC, we're not going to hard code it, we're going to pick the country that the users pick. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to double quote these, and then we're going to do ampersand, ampersand. In there, we're going to have the DAS, DAX function, and then this quote, we need to put it between double quotes, right? And now we go to Power BI and put this in. So we already have the quote, and what you're missing here is the country. So how do you pick the country? You do select 
selected value location country that's all make sure you start you know you spell everything correctly you don't miss any it won't work but i promise you it does work if it's not working for you you're doing something wrong now you can actually test these already here but i think it's actually better to publish it again because you can see the urls that are generated and it might give you an idea if you're doing something wrong so let me show you so here we have the report published again and then you can see here that is speaking the correct country it has a url let's test it and see if it works Fiji, beautiful. So if we go back, it's going to keep the filter, but we can actually get rid of it. And let's speak something else. New Caledon. You see, it works beautifully. Isn't this amazing? Okay, another thing that I want to do, want to say, is make sure that you don't have this read through page already with filters because that's going to cause problems. So make sure that you don't have any read through filters activated when you're publishing. Okay, other than that, you're good to go. So let me know what you think about this trick. And I will see you again in the next video.